Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about HTTP client, right? So, what is HTTP client and why you need this and all the things we'll discuss, right? In Laravel, for HTTP client, we are using Gazelle HTTP client, right? So, by default, when you install Laravel line, that time you can find in the composer.json you have installed the Gazelle HTTP. That's the reason we can use this. So basically, when we need these kind of things, right? So as a backend, we are using Laravel. And if I want to create a front end with different technology, or if I want to create uh, some APIs, or or if I want to provide some service uh, from your application to different application, that time you need uh, this API, right? Or HTTP client. So using Gazelle HTTP client, we can use this, right? So, so let's take some example. So how you can use this HTTP client. So for testing purpose, we have a JSON placeholder website. Actually, this is a good website for API testing. Currently, we don't have a database and we don't have much data, but this provides some data to test, right? So here you can see uh, there is routes. So there is some post data. So we can get the post, we can post and uh, we can put past it, all the things, right? So we will fetch these data. So if I just check the post, so you can see there is lots of data here. You can uh, see this, there is hundreds of records from 0 to 99. So I want to get this record from our application. So how we can do this? So let's create a different uh, controller and let's use that to get the access of that link so simply just create a php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is uh, request controller okay and let's enter so uh, controller created successfully so i don't need this composer.json i just closing these things and if i just uh, go into the app http controller sections you will get the request controller is just created actually created from here now to use the http request simply we need to use the http okay http okay so we already installed the gazelle http so that's the reason we don't have any problem so we can directly use that things okay and now uh, just create a, a function to get this result so what is the result this is the data so to get this post data just uh, create a function public function uh, suppose uh, my function uh, suppose get all post okay and how to call this so simply uh, just uh, create a post uh, equal to suppose i am just using this http so i already included in our controller and we just uh, mentioned the routes that is the gate type and we need to just use these things this url so we need to provide the url here so all will get inside this dollar post and simply i just going to response i just uh, going to see that result so simply how can I do this uh, return post and i want to response through the json format so this is the json so output will become as a json now as we are developing uh, api so there's a reason we can use uh, laravel api.php that is the uh, api routes okay so here just uh, use the uh, controller so so that we can understand the which controller is going to access from this route so simply use app http controllers and mention the uh, class name request controller all right so this controller is added so simply i just going to get the access of uh, this get all post function so simply just create a route and simply write a gate and here my well uh, suppose all post okay and just mention the controller name colon class and the function name so get all post actually if i just hit this url then it will call the get all post and actually it will response the output from this url okay so let's 
to test uh, API we have a tool that is the postman it is a great thing to test in APIs so simply just uh, create a request HTTP request and uh, my website URL is um, this is the URL 127.0.0.8.0 so simply just paste this as we are using the API so simply write API and all post okay and no need to change this method actually we are using the method as a get so simply just send this so we'll get the response something error so what's the error uh, route controller on line number request controller on line number 11 okay so let's see what is the problem line number 11 actually this will be the http in small letter actually not all will be in caps so just go again postman and click on send so it will get the output so you can see this so i think the letter is small but you can see the result is user id id title body so in this way we are getting this id 3 4 and all the 100 records okay so we are getting now we can understand how to fetch record now if i just want to add some records so how can I do this or uh, before that we have another api so if i just back and you can see the post one that means if i want to get one individual record then how we can do this so simply uh, just create another function and let's check so get all post instead of all just write get single post and here i just uh, going to pass the id and let's paste it here so simply slash dollar id and i have to create another route so simply just copy and here write get all not so single post and here get single post and i need to pass this id from the route also so simply write id and now if i just uh, click here so before that we to uh, create a route also this is the gate route and just use single post and suppose if i want to get result for 100 so we will pass the 100 here and let's click on send so we'll get 100 uh, entry right so if i just uh, uh, pass here 25 then we'll get the record which id is 25 okay simple so now i talked about uh, the add so how you can add some data into this post so simply to add we can have a option to add so we are getting this post route so simply just create another function and here just write um, add post okay so something like that add post and this time we don't need this id we need only to change this route to the post okay and here you can see we don't need this id so why removing these things and simply uh, just uh, create another route and here this time it will be the post and here add post so let's call the add post okay and here also write add post we don't need these things okay so what we'll actually add so we'll add this title and body section so if you check uh, in the add post section so this is the post route so in the post route we have option to add some data so how we can pass this so just add a comma and create an array so which we are actually going to post so we have a title option and simply write new title and we have another option uh, that is body so simply write a uh, body and just pass the body so here write a uh, test body okay so we can pass from the postman also no problem so just create another and this time is will be post and simply just uh, go here and my url is now at post okay so simply write at post so it will enter so click on send 
so it will set a new record that is a new title test body 101 so that means new record is inserted and if I just uh, going to update these things so simply here we can pass these things and instead of add we can write update and the important thing is instead of get we need to pass the put and where I need to update we need to update from uh, suppose uh, for particular record so simply write one so I want to update the one or one zero one anything and uh, let's send so we need to create this update post API so simply just go here and write here route put and the URL is this and we need to update for a specific ID so simply pass this and let's copy from the previous and just paste it here and now this time the function name is update post okay so simply write update post and uh, let's use public function uh, update post so actually I am going to pass this post from body so that will be the uh, more good things right so more meaningful means here I will create some JSON data so simply write title and I just write updated title and uh, simply just write a body and simply just write updated body okay and I will hit this so we'll get the request from the server so request from the browser then I just use the request dollar request or request anything so I just get LIS and we are passing the ID from the APIs so we are getting this from here and now how we can uh, pass this so simply and let's create another things just like previous not much difference so instead of put sorry instead of post we need to pass the put and here we just are uh, going to pass the requested things so simply write request and the title okay so simply write title and here simply write request body okay so actually we are getting this request from the um, postman okay so what is the postman okay so all are ready now uh, just uh, send and you can see there is nothing updated title updated body one thing i forgot to add so we need to update to the specific id so that's the reason we need to pass the id also that's the reason it appears blank now id is passing now just uh, click on this so now this is updated now the last things we need to do the delete operation so how can I delete so in the same way if I just are going to delete something we need some specific ID so here simply write delete post and let's create a route for delete post so simply just uh, go to the route and create a delete post so simply copy this and paste it here and here write the route will be the delete type route and here just write the delete post and we need this id so we can delete to the specific id and here simply write delete okay and let's create a controller function so simply just go here and create public function delete post and also i need id so which actually will delete right and simply uh, just write here in this way right and this time it will be the delete okay so finally when it will delete just write uh, post deleted right so now just uh, hit the url so just go here and click on send I think it will delete it okay so post it deleted this is all about the Laravel HTTP client and if you check the documentation you will get more clear understanding 
or you will get some new things so always i will recommend read the documentation so it will give you the best practice and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section the so next day we are going to move in different sections so we'll going to discuss about uh, laravel sessions level cookies and all the related things right so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye